All of this focuses around the outpost of Amona, an Israeli outpost in the northern West Bank illegally built on private Palestinian land. Israel's high court has ruled this outpost has to be demolished or removed by Christmas Day, by December 25th. Now, the right-wing government has been looking at different options to save either the outpost or the settlers, keep Amona where it is, or find some way of moving them to either newly built settlement homes or to a different Israeli settlement. Netanyahu didn't favor this bill, but it was pushed forward by the right-wing Jewish Home Party that very much favored what's come to be known as the legalization bill. They pushed this through the committee, and they vowed to push this through Israel's parliament, the Knesset. We spoke with the leader of the right-wing party, Naftali Bennett, and he says he will not let talk of a Palestinian state derail his efforts to have many of these illegal outposts legalized. Here's what he had to say. I think that the, the uh, notion of setting up a Palestine in the heart of Israel is a profound mistake. That's always been my platform. It remains my platform. And uh, I believe that we have to bring alternative new ideas instead of the Palestinian state approach. Netanyahu has opposed this bill, saying it's not the right way either to keep the Amona settlers where they are or to move them to a different location. Israel's attorney general has said the bill itself is unconstitutional, would violate international law if passed into law, and he has said it would be impossible to defend before Israel's high court. Palestinian leaders blasted this bill. Hanan Ashrawi said such bills are in direct violation of international law and conventions that prohibit racism and territorial expansion as the result of war and violence. Israel's escalation of its illegal settlement enterprise and the continued theft of Palestinian land and resources, as well as its flagrant violations of Palestinian rights and freedoms, are the essence of its dangerous and destructive policies. Now, it is worth noting that though Netanyahu opposed this bill, when it came down to that vote in the ministerial committee, all five of the Likud members, that is to say, all five of the members from his party voted in favor of this bill. Now, just because it passed this committee doesn't mean it has been passed into law. In fact, it has quite a procedure to go through through Israel's parliament, through the Knesset. But it is, again, worth noting that it has passed a major hurdle here. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, Jerusalem.